guys. In case this you is didn't 11K. Hear. Go ahead with the further. 11 k your 211 is in the Angels Flight, 3rd and Hill Street, 11 k code 3. What took you so long? They're getting away! What happened here, sir? They... they had guns. Dirty Lasses took everything and then booked. They went that way, the, the, the stairs alongside the track. Let's go then. Nice, they didn't get away. Nice and quick. You don't have to drive after them. Car 11K. Shots fired. The suspect is down at 3rd and Hill. Code 4 here, but I need an ambulance. 11K, Roger on the ambulance. All units, the shooting at 3rd and Hill Street is code 4. Code 4. An impartial stand, it is opening talk. I want to emphasize at the outset of these hearings that the fact that the Committee on Un-American Activities is investigating alleged common... What are you doing? ...and infiltration in the media picture industry must not be considered or interpreted as an attack on the industry itself. Oh, Nor should our investigation be interpreted as an attack on the majority of persons associated with this great industry. I have every Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? The driver's beat up. Not too bad considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, they'd be scraping both of them off the paper. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They're taking her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Okay, don't kill Enrique. Hey! Out of the way! Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. This asshole. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Fuck you, answer my questions. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of you? Beast of... I don't like. Keep out of this. <laughs> oh, this. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you can't is it like the... Who did this to you? The antivirus software. Slip to something you thin. I wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Okay, I guess if she if she got she got some uh, dope, then I'm just gonna say truth. Who drugged you, Mrs. McAfee? Mm -hmm. You really are a cute detective. But a little too naive for my taste. Fuck, I was wrong. For sure that was right because if she 
If you got dope, that's a good chance that he doesn't remember. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. Down by the crash site, eh? Can we walk a little bit slower? Please, dude, walk a little bit slower. This is the corner. You want to see this, Phelps? There, laid out on the truck, and that isn't even the best part. What the fuck? What happened to this thing? They've been torn off. Where did you find them? Stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Interesting. <laughs> Pocketbook. Dear Jesse, please please come home. Blah blah blah. She's a long way from home. License plate. We find out it's registered to. Well, let me investigate it further. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. I'd like to talk to the guy. Well, let's look on, on this side first. Okay, I can't. Oh wait, can I? No, this is the same thing. Okay. Talk. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. Let's see what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian truck and head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. Yeah, I fucked up last time. I talked to her. Go, Phelps, go. These people. I have friends work for the examiner. Oh, I'm going just to this onlooker, huh? And throw my head away. Whoops. Oh, I'll scratch my foot for a second. Oh, there we go. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break it. She's Harry Potter. Place. She has a scar. What more can I say? Liar. How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough, sweetheart. That's the same. And I can't, I can't really, I can't tell if this woman. We found that she's hard to read. Head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. You are lying. 
Mrs. McAfee, you're lying. You're wasting our time. You know what's going on here. You just won't tell us. You're sweet, but simple too. The burden of proof is with the law. Victims drugged. Prop shrunken head. Hmm. Don't ask me, never find out. Doubt. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Mark Bishop, okay. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. I think he might have had something to do with this. I fucked up on the questions. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. Okay. It's not going to play that way, Mr. McAfee. We'll take it from there. <laughs> Relax, detective. Fuck. You're not nearly as cute as you Fuck. Mr. McAfee. I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm being taken in? You could say that. On what grounds? On the grounds that you are under the influence of narcotics and that you are withholding information from the police. My husband is going to want a word with you, Sonny Jim. Fuck you. I think we're good here. Okay. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Where's the kid? She's the hospital. Street crimes. Man! How huge this place is. Holy crap. Okay, hospital, huh? 